Sure. Uh, without final stats just yet, it's hard to know specific details, but certainly more for them had a whale of a game, and, and she really uh, probably is one of the better shooters that I've seen since I've been coaching. Uh, but probably more disappointing was our effort on the boards. We talked about that as being a major focus, and that was an area that Duquesne dominated in the first half, and it continued in the second. And at the end of the day, rebounding is not a skill, and that's something that, uh, that we really focused on. So that probably is one of the bigger disappointments, in addition to the fact that we had a very difficult time uh, finding a way to, to stick around with more. But, Duquesne's a very good team. They appeared in the postseason last year and, and beat two very good MAC teams last year. And, and so certainly they have the tradition and the expectation that they would go most places and win. So kudos to them for coming in and executing their game plan. Uh, now, after Sunday's win, what kind of setback does this loss give you? I don't think it's any more of a disappointment than it would have been if we lost on Sunday. You know, we prepare uh, to win every game, quite honestly. So this was a disappointing performance. Uh, in and of itself, not related to the fact that we happened to win on Sunday. I remember uh, at one point, uh, sorry, at one point it seemed like you were really uh, like driving the force of the team. You were playing really gritty in the second half there. Uh, what was your mindset going there? Um, I just knew if I went at them that it was going to be a foul call. If I went hard, because they weren't really playing D, they just were out there. So I just knew if I went hard, I was going to get a foul. So. Well, uh, since you were on the court, what was really the hardest thing about Duquesne tonight? Um, really just getting out on a perimeter shooter, defense, and rebounding. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you, guys. Thank you.